PowerShell. So I'm going to right click, run as administrator. So I'll type DISM, DISM space forward slash on mount dash win space mount directory backward slash mount and commit So whatever changes I've done, it's now replacing that changes back to where? To the original location. You get me, yeah. So that's what's going to happen now throughout the, yeah. So it's, you see, it's mounting it, image file C, install.win, index one. And when everything is done, but in this case, we didn't do any changes. But normally, if you do a change, you can also go and view the changes that you've done as well. Normally, we're supposed to use the... Uh, the install the image dot win file we created. Are you getting me? That that file we actually just created them. Are you getting me? Yeah. If you want to create a file, that's how to create a file. So that file we actually just created it just for example, just to use it for an example, just to see how we can customize an image and things like that. So that's the step to go through, and the image will be returned back to its location. Are we together? So we we'll just leave it to run through, and uh, when everything is done. The next task we're going to go to now is lab four, which is managing of what? Disk. So we're going to be creating and managing volumes. We're going to talk about creating disk quotes. So in this case, we're going to be also kind of setting up a standard user as well for us to test it. Then we're going to set up and manage virtual hard drives. So I'm going to show you how to create a virtual hard drive in Windows 8.1, OK? Okay, I think it's taking quite some time, so I'll just stop it then. Is every computer having this? <coughs> it says saving image 100% or mounting image 100%. Is that what it says on your computer? Then it says the operation was completed what? <laughs> now when you go to your folder, can you confirm that the unmount folder is empty? The mount folder we created around is empty. Is it empty? Yeah. Exactly. Remember, it was this image we mounted. Was it not this? It was this image we mounted, right? It was this image that we mounted. So whatever changes you have done when you mount it onto this folder, those changes will first be saved. That's why you notice, you see here, saving what? So all the changes you have made will first be saved first. Then the image will not be mounted or mounted back to where its original location. So we'll end there for now. I'll continue uh, with the next uh, practicals.